What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can customize the length of your excerpts in your WordPress powered website. So if we scroll down over here, I'm on my demonstration site here. This is uh, what the excerpt length is, this section right here. So if we grab this entire snippet right here, we're going to copy that. We're going to go to the online character count tool, paste it. We're going to see that there's 55 words in total. That's the default length of an excerpt with WordPress. But let's say you wanted to change that or have it uh, a different length. How can you go about doing that? If you're a theme developer or if you're comfortable with code, then you can follow these steps in order to get it done. If you're using a premium theme or if you're using a third party theme that you're not in full control over, definitely create a child theme that's going to work with that parent theme. And I have a video on how to do that and I'll leave a link to that in the upper right hand corner and that video will show you the process of how to create a child theme. But if you're developing your own theme and you need a code snippet to change the excerpt length, that's what I'm going to show you right now. So what I'll do is I'll go into my code editor and I'm using the Visual Studio code editor for this demonstration. I'm going to go into my functions.php file. Make sure I go to a new line. I'm going to make this uh, look a little bit bigger so we can actually see what's taking place. All right, so I'm going to create a custom function. So I'll just type out function. I'm going to give it the namespace of devwp because that's the uh, name of the theme that I'm using to teach people how to code custom WordPress themes. So I'm going to give it the namespace of uh, devwp underscore and then custom devwp. Let me fix this over here. Custom excerpt length. Open up some parentheses there and I'm going to put in a variable length like that. Put in some uh, curly braces, give ourselves some space. And let's say we want it to be uh, 30 words in total. So we could just type out return 30. All right, so now we have the function created. Very simple to do. Now we have to put in the add filter, parentheses, single quotation marks, excerpt length. Outside of that closing uh, single quotation mark, we'll put in a comma. And then we're going to take our function name right there, put in a single quotation marks, and then we're going to give it the um, name of our function right there. Outside of that closing uh, single quotation mark, we'll put in 999 for the priority, and then we'll close off with a semicolon. All right, so now let's just double check everything. We're going to save it. We have the uh, function devwp custom excerpt length with the variable length return 30, the add filter excerpt length, the name of our function, and the priority number right there. All right, so we have that saved. So if we go back to our window over here, nothing's changed yet because we haven't refreshed the page. But now let's see what happens when we reload the page itself. Now we see that it went down from uh, 55 to 30, and we could confirm that by just copying that text right there, going back to our character count online, deleting that, pasting, and now we see we have 30 words. All right, so that worked perfectly. We were able to change the number of words used by the excerpt in our WordPress theme. You can change that number to whatever you want. So let's say we're going to make it 100. We'll save that. Go back here reload and now we have 100. Again, we could just verify that 100 words. So that's pretty cool. All right, so that's a very good way to be able to customize the amount of words you have within the uh, excerpt length itself. Now this is great for theme developers and this is uh, a very good way to customize the amount of characters or the amount of words that are going to be within the excerpt itself. Now let's say you wanted to make it even easier. Let's say we're going to be distributing your theme. If you wanted to be able to give whoever has your theme the ability to dynamically change the excerpts without having to code, that can be done. And I'm getting ready to create a whole video that will demonstrate some really advanced functionality in terms of using the customizer API and a full demonstration how to custom code a WordPress theme. So let me just take out this snippet here. I'm going to comment that out. I'm going to save it. And now we see it's back to the 55. So now let me show you what I mean by the um, dynamic customization with the customizer. In DevWP, this is the theme that I'm using to teach people how to code custom WordPress themes. I have a theme option section here where a person can change the extra length dynamically. Publish. And now that's down to 30. 
So if you want to see how to add this dynamic functionality into your theme, definitely subscribe to the channel because I'll be releasing the video on how to add this custom functionality into your theme customizer. And that's going to be part of a larger video that's going to demonstrate how to code a custom WordPress theme. And again, I'm using the DevWP WordPress training theme. I have some other videos on how to code a custom theme and I've demonstrated the earlier versions of DevWP, but there's going to be some major enhancements coming to the theme theme itself, some very advanced functionality that will definitely enhance the feel and functionality of a WordPress theme. So again, definitely subscribe, hit the notification icon. If you have any thoughts, ideas, or comments, leave them down below. Check out the cards in the upper right hand corner and the description section below. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.